Good day. The security situation in Netherlands is deteriorating. A breakdown of infrastructure has affected the supply of provisions to many cities. Local population show no confidence in the government. Men and women began to loot looking for food and drinkable water. Police in Netherland are overwhelmed and called for military assistance. There are riots and there are many wounded. Hospitals are getting overcrowded, also receiving many injured people from the natural disaster. Day and night, urban search and rescue teams from the EU continue working at different locations throughout the region of Twente. These teams are self-sufficient, so the operation can continue even in the dark. The Croatian urban search and rescue team worked at a restaurant which has been destroyed during the earthquake. Some of the guests were found in the dining room, others had to be rescued from an elevator shaft. This took special rope skills from the Croatian team members. It took them several hours of hard work in the pouring rain and eventually they extracted two people. After this they moved to a parking garage and continued their search and rescue operation. Also at this location they managed to rescue a few Netherlanders. The Swedish urban search and rescue team was confronted with a collapsed construction site. At this site there was a lot of concrete they had to drill through. To get to the survivors underneath the debris they had to use heavy equipment. At the same time members of the Swedish team searched at other locations nearby the construction site. Amongst these locations there were two child daycare centers and a retirement home. In a combined effort the Estonian urban search and rescue team conducted further rescue operations at these sites. Also the Estonians had to use their rope skills to get to the children. After they evacuated the children they gave them medical attention. The Estonian urban search and rescue team also tried to get into the ruins by drilling through the remaining walls. It is unknown how many children in total were found and what their condition is at the moment. The Estonians, together with the Swedish team, set up a combined medical post. To find survivors in these conditions, the teams used specially trained dogs. All three urban search and rescue teams brought their own dogs. These dogs are trained to locate people and to give their handlers a signal. Then the other team members will start the rescue operation. Just like the men and women of the teams, these dogs have an important and riskful job. Today the dogs were working at all different sites. Again they found many victims and were also used to search for people at an accident with a plane. A plane hit a building during taxiing and many people got injured. This afternoon a representative of the EU delegation, Mr. Dimitrius Pagidas, visited the EU CPT and TAST team. These teams work at the base of operation. The TAS team assists the coordination team, technically and logistically. The coordination team coordinates between local authorities and the EU civil protection teams. At a press conference, these authorities stated there is a good cooperation between them and the EU teams working in the area of Twente. Thank you for watching INN. I'm James Watson.